think like a year ago there was a body found right over those bushes and I used to like play there as a kid. Yeah, a lot of stuff happens like right here. Other than that, like everyone who's here consistently is now gonna try to stay in that house and then got this is neck slashed by like cartel. What is up, people crew? All right, you guys, we are back in the Salton Sea area, and we are covering a case that is different than any missing persons case we've ever covered before. We are covering the case of a missing YouTuber that we met live streaming in the summer of 2018. Oh my God, someone's here, okay. And they're coming, they're driving fast. Oh my, aggressive driving. Oh, really cooking, look at them go. This guy. We saw you on the live video. We knew exactly where you were. That's not Aaron's carriage, man. <laughs> we thought you guys were going to put on the show. <laughs> hey, how you doing? I'm Nick. Hey, Bob. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. I'm glad you guys found this. It's like definitely a lot cool. This it's place like, is sketchy. Yeah, it's cool that you guys came at night. We haven't even been there enough to do that. You mind if we explore with you? Of course. course. Yeah, yeah, we don't mind. Thank you. We did a lot of live streaming back then. Yes, a ton. And uh, we met a lot of really cool and interesting people. Yes. You're gonna be arrested for obstruction. What are you, what are you, okay, what are you doing? What are you doing? One person that we met actually went missing in this very area, and we're gonna cover that topic, but first, we have to thank Audible for making this highly requested video happen by providing us the money to come all the way from Utah here to California. Right now, for a limited time offer, you can get three months of Audible for $6.95. That's $6.95. That's more than half off the regular price. And we'll make a great holiday gift for someone you love, maybe even treating yourself. All you have to do is go to audible.com slash ewukru or text ewukru to 500-500. That's right. Audible has exclusive titles known as Audible Originals from a diverse group of storytellers from around the world. That's we got right. theater. That's right. We got journalism. journalism. We got all kinds of stuff. There's all kinds of for you to go see. You can enjoy listening to these books on any device at any time. Car. When in the gym. Hey, we, we listen on the car Driving. all the time. And like if we were coming to the Salton Sea, you can get an Audible on Salton Sea and then you could come here and know exactly what the whole entire story is exactly. by listening on the ride here. Now the book we have been reading is called Unexplained Disappearances. Disappearances. That's right. It chronicles strange and weird disappearances from all over the place. There's some really good missing person cases which is actually like what we are looking for what we're and going to be searching today. for today. So guys, what are you waiting for? Go over to audible.com slash ewoo crew. The ewoo crew, you guys. Ewoo crew. Or, or you can text it. Ewoo crew 500 500 guys and get this awesome deal today. You will be supporting this channel and you will be getting yourself an awesome deal deal on Audible. We are searching for Nick Sonderager. He went missing just two months ago, you guys. This area here, I'm going to show you in a second, but this area here is like, usually it's extremely dangerous. There's lots of gang graffiti all over the place. He disappeared literally without a trace. We're going to tell you the entire story as we go along. But first, this is the exact location right here. We were in here and we were exploring when we walked out and we saw somebody walking by. Scootering by. That's how he was scooter. He was on a scooter. We call everyone called him Scooter Boy. Yes. When he came scootering up, No, there was a piano? No, this is the first time we've been here, dude. We're live streaming right now. Oh, really? We're kind of yeah. checking out, you know any cool spots on here to check out, explore? Uh, pretty much just all these like abandoned houses they all have. A lot of cool art. Like, yeah. It's pretty much all the people that come out here. It's just. Hey, experience. do you know when they knocked down the, um, the like resort they had like over there? No, I have no idea. It was a I massive just uh, moved here like a few months ago. Someone, someone took your uh, piano? Oh, that that's sucks. Bummer. But I mean, we got it for free. It's just yeah, it's so it's random. Still that, like, <laughs> I mean, I don't know if you've been up to the sand, but it's literally all fish bones. It's yeah, like that's what they were saying in the chat. Made of yeah. skeletons, so. That'd be pretty cool to film. Cause have you lived here a long time? Uh, my friend, he used to live here when he was younger with his family. Um, so he owned property out here. We lost the place we were renting in San Diego. so. We just moved out here. Yeah. They're living in like a tent on their property. Oh, wow. Well, yeah. <laughs> what do you do out here to just not have the fun? Anything you do? Well, I have the piano, but. Um, oh, that was. That sucks. That sucks, man. <laughs> oh, no, no. It's okay. I have like little keyboards and stuff. But um, I don't know. Just trying to think of stuff to do. I kind of want to like maybe do some stuff with radio. 
I ordered a transmitter. Like, like ham radio? Really like FM. Yeah. I just kind of just keep it like, you know, keep it cool. Yeah, that's pretty cool though, yeah. <laughs> just get some stations going. I don't know, just anything to talk to people. Like what you guys are doing. Yeah, awesome. exactly. Yeah. Exactly, yeah. Yeah, right on. Yeah, you can yep. check this out on YouTube. Yeah, what is uh, it's Explore With Us? Explore With Us. Yeah. Well, it was nice yeah, to meet you. Nice What's your name? Name's Austin. Hey, nice to meet you. Austin? Yeah, Bob. Oh. And Emma. All right, my hands sweating like crazy. It's so hot out here. There's no way to avoid it. Huh? <laughs> All right. Um, yeah, sorry to hear about your piano. Oh no, no, that's cool. We'll find another one. That's a bummer. Yeah. Thank you too. Thank you. All right, guys. Let's check out. This is the building where we were exploring. We're just gonna. It smells really gross in here, and there's tons of rodents. Oh, look at this. Like a tarp with like fake blood all over it. All right, guys. We're just gonna take a quick look around right here, see if we can't find any clues. So you guys keep your eyes open. Like the graffiti over there. Like there's a graffiti right there. That was actually the sticker on his truck. His band, I believe. Isn't that his band's? Yeah. Graffiti right there? Yeah. You got a uh, YouTube yourself, Nick? Uh, I've got a, a little record label. Oh, do you? It's called Sunspike. It's on the back Sunspike? of my car. If you want to see the logo and all that. Yeah, shit. let's see. The, who is, yeah. Can we go show them? Yeah, let's show them, man. You guys, do you have a uh, website? Uh... I think we do. <laughs> <laughs> paid for it. Yeah. Right there. It smells really disgusting in here. And it looks like the pigeons. But you guys, we're going to head over right now. We're going to go over to the location where we actually met Nick for the very first time. Let's do it. Let's go. All right, guys, so this is the location, exact location where we met Nick. They came right down this road. Yeah. So let's just take a quick peek around, guys, and see if there's any clues. They said they, like, they, used, to, they used to like to come here, remember? You guys check out the pool already? Yeah. yeah it's cool. Yeah. We want to, like, clear it out and start. Yeah. How long has it been like this? It sounds like you guys have been here a few times. Uh, a couple times. Like I've been coming back for the past couple of years. Um, just kind of like getting our property all set and shit. This stuff's been here for at least like ten years. So let's just go over here and take a quick look. See, the swimming pool has been completely graffitied a heck of a lot more. Let's just take a quick look around, guys, and then we'll tell you the rest of the story on Nick. There's more clothes. There's a painting. There's a lot of clothes in here. There's a lot of clothes all over. Yeah, that's been... That's a lot different. Wow. Wow, this is... Yeah. It's how long have you been I, I don't know. Wait, how long have I been Yeah. There? I grew up, well, I came out here in the summer zone, I was like a little kid. Yeah. And I actually used to swim in the Salton Sea. <laughs> oh, wow. Fucking nasty Would you kid. swim in there now? Hell no. Still pretty interesting. What does it say on there? Someone's clothes in here. Decorated, you know? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nice posters and stuff. It's not just the necessities. All right, guys. So right now we're gonna head out of here. We're gonna go ahead and head over to the uh, to the secret compound where they took us to, cause that's like right next to the location where he actually went missing. So do you guys have any like other spots you're trying to drive around to tonight? Or? We don't know. Of yeah, anymore. we don't know of anymore. We have like a cool spot, but like it's it's like our spot. Oh, uh, you don't <laughs> want people knowing about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But uh, this spot is like. Pretty, pretty big, and you know, like all these places, everyone knows about them. But this one's just. Hey, let's do it. Yeah. That's cool. This is in 2014. Yeah, little pictures. All right, let's go over to the location where um, they took us that night. Their secret little location. What do you guys say? Let's go look for some clues. Okay, let's get out. All right, guys, so we are at the secret compound where Nick and, and Austin had all these plans. You guys spend a lot of time out here hanging out? Uh, we started to. You guys are going to start fixing it up, right? <laughs> yeah, that's the idea. We, we've thrown like five underground graves, a couple in Maui, a couple in Arizona. We're just kind of. When the like, next one comes, you guys tell us, I can give you guys a shout out. I mean, this is kind of where yeah, we're trying to have it. Oh, that would be sweet. Yeah, yeah. yeah that would be cool. 
It's probably gonna get shut down pretty fast, but there's a <laughs> garage over there that's pretty big. Yeah. And the only open doors are out to the Salton Sea, so. Are you guys old buddies? For a long time? Oh, for a while. Yeah, like, like six, seven, eight years or something. Here's the story. I'm just gonna give you guys a complete story of what happened. Nick was literally 300 yards from where we are right now when he went missing. He went missing at 2 a.m. on September 8th. Austin and Nick had come home. They were hanging out and doing whatever they were doing and they heard a scream that sounded like it was coming from the other side of town, which this is a really tiny town, right? Yeah. They were debating on whether or not, hey, we should we go um, investigate. investigate this scream. Austin said he fell asleep and then he woke up the next morning and Nick had vanished without a trace. So he was reported missing. Austin went searching for Nick the next morning after he woke up and realized he had been missing. About a block away, which we're gonna go over there, that's basically where we, we started this video. Yeah. He found his flashlight. Directly across from where Austin had found the flashlight, the investigators had found one of his boots. Yes. His pants. Yep. His knife sleeve. And they found one other thing. But his keys and wallet are missing. Yeah, they're gone. His vehicle keys and his wallet are missing. And so Austin came back and searched again later, right? He came back and he searched right by where we're going to go again. We know he told us the location and he found Nick's hat, okay? Imperial County doesn't seem to care. No. They have not been out here. They did, there was no search and rescue from what we can find. They just do not seem to care at all that Nick is missing and that he has not been found. But Austin was seriously creeped out that he had found yes. his stuff and a spot that he had already searched and he said uh, someone, whoever did this, must still be around so be super careful. He thinks that Nick was murdered out here. I'm telling you guys there's gang graffiti all over this area. Who knows what happened? We have found some details. We've uncovered some details. We're going to go and check out some of the locations. Right now we're going to do a general search. I need you guys to pay attention. Ice and keep your eyes open for any clues that we might miss. Yeah, let's go explore this compound. I mean, Nick may have come over here. Hey, who knows? Maybe someone dumped him here. We don't know. We're going to go explore this compound. Let's go. Let's do it. So Austin's grabbing another ice. Is that what ice? Yeah, these are what we get for our kitties because they last. They cats? stay cold for like yeah. a day and a half. So we just buy one every day. This is like the rocks and stuff. All right, let's go. Just do it. Hey, look at the record. Yeah, that was their last time, remember? Reader's Digest. That's kind of cool. There's some medicine. Where's the microwave? Yeah, it's been two months since Nick went missing, so chances of finding him alive are slim to none. Oh, so so those are those two boxes that they had that night in the, in the uh, safe. Seriously? out of the safe. Obviously, there was probably cooler stuff. Oh, yeah, whoa. But that's all that was left. These little tea boxes and the safe's in here. Yeah, they pull out the safe. Let's go see if the safe's still there. Yeah. We should just go through the window over here, don't you think? Yeah, let's do it. It's all smashed out. Oh, yeah, that's cool. I guess it ain't protecting anymore. Nobody's going in there. the fireplace. We've seen all this at night, so guys, we're just going to do a quick look around. We're just looking for any clues we can find. And there's a lot of rodent dropping, so we're going to stay out of the building. Yeah, good idea. And there's a safe right there. I opened it more, but they got everything good. Oh, right. So. <laughs> yeah. If you found those in there, they're going to be out. Yeah. I don't know. He could literally be anywhere out here. This place is so freaking cool, though. Check it out. Look at the uh, the palm trees and how it's all like the rock pathways and everything. That's a fountain. Yeah, the old fountain. Oh, there's, a lot of, there's a lot of wood covering the old fountain. See, this is like... Okay. Oh, okay. Now, someone was having a campfire here. Look, see? There's nothing underneath it. But he could literally be anywhere's out here. Let's go check oh. out some more of these buildings. Hey, nice. I hear a vehicle. You do? It might be from the freeway. Yeah. All right. And I hear a car like right over there. Really? Hold on. Here's a room that we're gonna turn into a studio right here. Like a perfect little studio. Yeah, that would be nice. Some weird shit in there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's pretty nasty. We're not gonna go into any of these though, because. There's seriously hantavirus, but I want to look around, but look at how this tree, look at it, it's almost like someone's tending this stuff still. Like, I wonder if Nick and Austin were tending it at all. They were planning on coming back here and completely fixing this all up. I mean, this is pretty amazing. I mean, look, check that out. Is oh, yeah, that not like freaking a... awesome? They had power running out here and everything. Like a grill. And it's still a freaking sink. Hey, there's a piece of mail. Oh, there is some mail. What's it say? Who's it to? 
Ah, uh, current. Current residence, HughesNet. Oh, this is really cool though. Check that out. Yeah. So that's... someone had knocked this off of there. It looks like there's a bar right here. Look, got a little bar that was up on this pedestal, but someone is knocking. Hey, look at this. What? What? Oh, yeah. Transformer or something. Hey, look at there's some food there, though. There's food. I want to check that RV, but I also want to check this building right here. Let's do it. Hey, is there salt? There's no salt in there. Why has it got a lock on here, though? That's what, yeah. It's not really locked, though. It's been busted. Um, I probably just couldn't afford it after, like, after the early 90s. It was just shit. It was already going to shit, but, like, everyone just left it and kind of forgot about it. Yeah. Hello? Anybody in here? We're just here to look around. We're looking for Nick. There's still, like, salt and stuff up there. Open this one, let's see. Open it? Yeah. There's an air cleaner. Air filter, I mean. We should have some parties out here. Honestly, like, a couple months. Is it, no? You guys are starting to get serious at working on it now? With this, yeah, we just want to, like, kind of, I mean, obviously we can't get rid of trash. So yeah. Just, like, make a pile or something, but. Let's that? keep looking. So we got some bullet casings over here. A lot of bullet casings. Like someone spent a lot of time shooting out here. And like I said, this area is pretty dangerous. It's like uh, there's a lot of gang activity out here. So who knows what happened with Nick. But we're going to keep looking. I think we should check out that RV next. He could be anywhere out here. We're going to keep searching. We know where his flashlight was found. We know where his hat was found. Let's go. All right, guys. Let's see if there's any clues of Nick in here. And let's see. Did you want to check out? Sure. Hey, you want to take a look in? Yep. Uh -huh. Candles and stuff. There's some Nutella. Want some Nutella? Oh, I guess we can't get in anymore. What the hell happened? It's it's, it's sunk in a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> Got candles. Oh, and there's a pan station. Oh, there's some Nutella. Nutella? Yeah. <laughs> Anyone in the chat want some Nutella? And some Gatorade. Sure. Wow. So that is the same Nutella from yep. that night. Sure is. Jeez. Nothing in here. Let's keep going. Hey, we got some ammo. Let's zoom in. All right, guys. So this, this, what do you think this was? Like a giant pond? Hey, there's a CD at the bottom. Yeah. There's a CD and you can see, like, this was their little compound. Look how good those plants are doing over there. Is this a hot tub? Yeah, it sure is. That's a nasty hot tub, but yeah. I wonder if they had like two of them right here. Yeah, the other one's gone. So let's just keep looking for Nick. Any clues, you guys? I do hear a car though. You hear that? Yeah, I think I hear that. Can you hear that though? I really do. I'm gonna go over here and just take a look. Okay. Maybe if they see me over here, they won't wanna come over here. I'm coming with you. No, we're clear. Right, we need to look go. inside that boat because he could be in that boat. Come on. Yes. All right. All right. Let's go in. We're going to check out this building right here. Yeah, but someone tried to get in right someone there. Someone's tried to, oh, look, they tried to break off the, they actually pulled the bolt out. How good of a lock is that if you could just pull the bolt off? Oh, yeah, look at that. I think you can get in right here. Hey, look, there's a bike lock on that one. But then you could get in. Let's see right here. Wow, look at this. This thing is full of stuff. It's just like that night when we came, but you couldn't really see too much that night, remember? Yeah. And there's tons of rodent droppings in here, so... I'm not sure, like, you can actually get in this whole thing. It's may have all been cut apart. Rodent droppings, guys. One day, if you don't know anything about rodent droppings, you have to be very, very careful of the hantavirus. It, it will kill you. It is a respiratory infection that will literally kill you. <laughs> Uh-oh. Uh-oh. <gasps> oh, snap. See you guys? Yeah. It's hardcore. It's a U.S. Marine. It's a K bar, huh? I got that exactly. Yeah. I got that one. In the car. It was made in China. Is course, that one is? But uh, but it's very sharp. Yeah, yeah. And it's even got blood grooves, just in case, you know. <laughs> yeah. but, uh, I, I made new shorts today. With wow. Them. We just got to explore in this building. Now we're gonna head right over to here, and we're gonna check this place out. Let's go. 
All right, I think we should move the car over there because I don't know if someone could creep up on us right over here We would not even see them because the road is right behind this building. So let's go over there All right, we're gonna head out right over here. Let's go right over here and check out this bathroom. Let's go. I don't know I remember coming here though Oh my god, there they are, yes Dude. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I remember coming in here. Hey, check this out. No, a door. I didn't even. Whoa, I heard something in that one. Yeah, me too. Let's check it. Hey, look at that. Yeah, there's tons of spider webs in there. But look at that little thing they strung up there. Oh, yeah, look at that. That's the thing. Look at that shirt, dude. That looks. That looks like Austin's shirt, and that looks like Nick's shirt. Hey, it's kind of outside. What we should do is we should kind of like move it with our feet. Yeah, we should and get see it, it out. Cause that that looks like Austin's kind of shirt. Yeah, for sure. Let's go. Let's go look at it. I heard a vehicle. No, we're good. In there. I dude, I swear this is his shirt. I can't get it out though. Well, I don't know if that's his shirt or not. Yeah, 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 I could just grab it. Is there? Yeah, mouse, just grab are it. Are there mouse droppings in there? Um, probably. Why don't we? Should we should have some tongs or something. I don't know. There's a razor right here. Not sturdy at all. All right, let's continue to look. All right. All right, we're gonna head over to this uh, restroom right here. But I think look at over there. We haven't. Um, that's where we went that night. Straight over there, you can see the little bridge. But there looks like there's something straight ahead that I we haven't checked out yet at all. And he was found right over there. He? Like, yeah, Nick. I mean, not found. Sorry, guys. Nick, Nick's stuff was found. His hat was found. I think I see the trees like right there. So it's like 200 yards that way. So he could be anywhere. In his boot and his. Uh, the pants, he had one boot was found, his pants and his sheets from his knife. But we're gonna head over that way and we're gonna explore over here. We're gonna check out this restroom. I think we're gonna jump in our car because I don't want us to get like um, creeped up on and not be able to jump in our car. Let's go. All right guys, so before we head over there to the restrooms, I wanna go right over here to this area. Creepy bushes. Yeah, these creepy bushes and we just kinda wanna look around to see if we can find anything. Let's go. There's right. a jacket. There's a jacket over here. And it looks, I don't know. Sometimes these kind of piles always catch my attention. What the heck is that? It's like someone's pants. Yeah, those are pants for sure. <laughs> nah, nah, those aren't I think pants. These are, this I, is think that, I think that's a coat. Um, the heck? That doesn't, uh, extra large is not, I don't think that's Nick's size. Just saying. But look at this. There's a mattress in here and all kinds of garbage piled up. Like what? Like a weird boy, there's something in the bushes over there, like clothing. This is why it's so hard. There's so much garbage out here. There's like literally garbage everywhere out here. There's all kinds of stuff in these bushes, but not it's not clothing. All right, let's go head over to the vehicle. Let's take our car and let's go over here. I like to keep the car close to us in case if somebody shows up, we can jump in and get the heck out of here. Cause I'm telling you, this is a sketchy location. Let's do it. That doesn't look familiar. Yeah, though. it doesn't look familiar. There's some clothes in here, guys. We got a sweatshirt. We got some pants. These kind of piles always make me wonder, like, you know, I know gardeners do that, but it's always weird. Like, I always wish I had, like, a pitchfork so we could open them up. Pitchfork. All right, guys, we're going to check out this restroom. And this RV is where we were. There's a hat. And we're also going to look at There's a tarp over here we want to go check out. And we're also going to go check out the trees. Look at the teddy. All right, so here's all this clothes here. But I remember them saying all this clothing was here before. Check that out. Now you're going to see. <laughs> 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 Ready to go. <laughs> oh yeah, look, we have some vinegar. And I don't know what that is. It's like powder, um, flour I mean, powder, cocaine. There's a sleeping bag over there. You see anything in there? No, nah, just a bunch of papers and books and stuff. Hey, Not that much rodent droppings, which is surprising. Hey, there's a book right here, The Great Controversy Between Christ and Satan. What? Like, it looks like a new book. That looks like it's just was just put here. Actually, look, there's not even any dust on it. When people try to tell us they're devil worshippers, remember that? Yeah. 
That's the thing a lot of people don't know about nah, Nick though, is he he was actually a friendly guy. He didn't he just liked to play the role. A lot of people thought he was a a big weird, you know, a big creepy guy, right? Yeah, but he he just thought it was funny. How people he thought just that. thought it was funny playing the role, huh? Yeah. He just thought it was pretty cool. So he just played along with it, you guys. He, that's how kind of guy he was. Yeah, they asked if you're Illuminati because you're sure that it gets Illuminati. Shirt, asphalt shirt. Oh I no. Mean, Illuminati. Like, they, they, they're people. <laughs> <laughs> I guess there's your answer. He's not going to confirm nor deny. Oh snap. <laughs> and unfortunately, it doesn't seem like Imperial cares, a county cares at all about finding him because they have had no searching for him at all. Oh yeah, look. Hey, there's okay. the freaking photos. Yeah. I think those are just standard photos. Damn it, I thought it was cool stuff. Hey, that's kind of weird though. Ask me about grandchildren. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Look at, look at, look at. Ask me about grandchildren. Look, there's blankets. I guess all this probably came out of the RV. Yeah, that's what I'm guessing. So Nick, Nick, dis his hat was found like right over there according to Austin. About 200 yards that way. Well, We're gonna go ahead and there. head out that way in a minute. We're gonna go see that. But right now, let's go check this uh, bathrooms out. Let's go see the bathrooms. We're gonna go and check out this bathroom. Does that look like blood to you? Looks like something nasty, huh? Look, there's even more of it, like splashed right there. Okay, that's definitely not blood. <laughs> Let's see over here. <laughs> this place is. I mean, this is why they didn't show us this one. Why? Because it's not as cool as the other. Oh, it's pretty cool. The bath. Oh, is it? The toilets are still intact. That is freaking unusual for an abandoned place. Wow, look and at the that. mirror's still intact, and it has a little there's plug. Soap. There's soap. There's soap right there. And we got the um the little plug so they can plug up the sink. That's weird. And a bowl. All right, let's head over here and let's check out these trees and let's just look at this tarp and see what we have over there. Looks like we have a, a flannel right here. Checkered. Checkered. Remember, Checkers was his nickname. Austin's nickname was Checkers, guys, so we found a Checkers. Just don't get my socks. Get his socks. That really does, though. kind of looks I like Checkers. It kind of looks like his style. I don't remember if he wore this exactly, but I mean, yeah. Yeah, look, it's a button-up. Oh, it's like, just like what he wore. Yeah, that's some weird green thing inside of it. I've never seen that before. That reminds me of what he would wear. All right, let's go this way. All right. Let's look in here, peeps. Let me know if you see anything. Keep your eyes open. Let me know if you see anything out of unusual or out of place. There's nothing really in here. It's kind of flat. Yeah, there's Nothing only a bunch in here, of but junk. Let's, uh, there's another one of these piles. There's so many of these bushes around here. I think what we do is we get in the car, let's go down to that... Are those boats way out there, or are those vehicles on the other side of the... I think those are vehicles. Other side. No one even takes their boat in this nasty water. That's the area where we were... Uh, walked over the bridge we walked with over them. the bridge and stuff, like an empty pond. So you guys are trying to get like a, a business going. Uh, not really business. It's just like stuff we've been working on our whole lives. Like, he's been working on music. And, like, I have a lot of friends who are into music. And we just want to make, like, a nice, self-sustained place to where we don't really have to worry about money. But check out this. I thought this was so cool. Look, there's a little pathway. We walked. It didn't seem like that long that night, but we walked straight I'm telling you, Austin, Nick has to be around this very area. Yeah, he does. He's got to be somewhere like right around here. There's no other explanation. So investigators found this stuff along this, the beach right over here. And, and there's a lot of traffic down here, so I'm surprised they haven't found anything else. We've just seen a bunch of UTVs and ATVs go by. We're going to drive over there. We haven't been over there yet. Let's go see it. Let's go. So Nick, his boots were found like somewhere along this shoreline. And Austin said it was directly and across those Aust trees. Yeah, you see those trees right there? Those trees right there, that's that's where his hat was. And his boots and his sheath, and now you guys already know, I've already said it a million times, is somewhere along this shore. Directly across. So I say we go down there and just take a walk along the shoreline and see if we can find anything. Fish bones. Yeah, this is weird, guys. If you want to come and see something strange, come down to the shoreline here and look. If you think it's sand, it's literally not sand. It's all fish bones, like just millions and millions, billions of fish bone and fragments. And is supposed to be toxic? I don't I've know, it smells toxic. toxic. Do you guys smell that? It freaking reeks right now. I don't know guys, I read it's toxic, who knows? All right, let's go. We're gonna head over here and we're gonna walk down to the shore. I noticed the UTVers, they stay up here. 
And you know if it's a black boot, it's kind of going to stick out. You know, In you this think? white stuff, yeah. So. So, his, right there's the trees. Look at guys, there's some nasty sludge right there. You see that? Come here. Look in there. That's nasty. Nasty. There's a bone right here. I don't know what kind of bone that is, but. He's only been two months, so I mean, I guess, yeah. would, it, would he have been? I don't know. I don't know how fast decomposition takes place, but. uh we'll leave it there for now. Yeah, we'll leave it there, and we're going to continue to look over here. All right, let's keep going. Just keep your eyes peeled. A lot of people might not come over here because there's no trespassing signs over there. And you're not supposed to be coming over to this side, guys, but we're literally not trespassing. We're searching for a missing person. So if they want to give us a ticket because we're searching for a missing person, they can go ahead and tell the judge that they gave us a ticket for making a video about a missing person. That's all. For and sure. Like, yeah. Oh, I just touched a dead bird's wing. Right, we got some more bones, guys. This one's a white bone here. I don't, I'm not really sure. I feel like this, this is one different. looks a little fresher. That almost looks the size of a human rib bone. Just I mean, keep looking over here. Keep your eyes. Yeah, let's keep looking around. There's some footprints over here. Come here. That is gross. What is it? I don't know. Animal? It's piled bones? It's a gigantic. That's a big animal. That's like a, what kind of animal is that? Is that a bird? Like a gigantic bird? Yeah, it must be. A freaking giant one? It's a pelican's head. Why is there so many dead animals? Yeah, more bird. More bird bones, but at least we know that if there's a, some bones out here, it'll be easy to find. We got some of the old abandoned stuff out here for the salt and sea. I wonder what that was. That's an interesting bone. Right there. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it looks like. Too a, old looking, though. Yeah. I think that's too old. But. Yeah, that's a pretty old bone. It's a weird spot. But look at how hard it would be to find them. All right, so right here is the area where Austin said that he found the hat. So we're, this is where we're going to look for the hat. And then directly across. And the directly way. across is where we just were. Is where the shoreline was. This is just like gardener stuff in here. Yeah, it's like gloves thrown in there. It's kind of weird, but yeah. not that weird. No, he said he left the hat here, so. For the investigators, so I don't know if the investigators got it, guys. Or yeah. What, but. I'm not really sure either, but we're gonna come and we're gonna, like, there's a path, a well-worn well path right here. Like maybe there's a homeless encampment in this bushes. All right, so somewhere's right around here, they said, they, he saw, Austin said he found his flashlight, but tomorrow we're gonna come back with Rick and we're gonna do a more in-depth search. Let's go, guys. Let's go. The neighbors here are pretty cool? Yeah, they're pretty cool. Um, We've got this guy right next to me knew my dad. Over there, um, there used to be two houses. They both burnt down. There was a really interesting person living in that house before it burned down. A few months prior to the fire, he actually um, killed himself. But he was like a really cool, like he did spoken word poetry and like he entered in these Halloween contests because he had this crazy like leather suit that he made completely on his own. He called it Mr. Demonic. While LA is rising, California is shaking, baby. Well, he actually has a YouTube channel. I don't know it right now. Can you yeah. commit suicide like right there? Out by the shore and like he parked up right next to the shore and just shot himself in the water and then they found him just right there at the shore by his car. And then uh, I think like a year ago there was a body found right over those bushes and I used to like play there as a kid. Really? Yeah. Like right on the side of those trees over there? Like on the other side of those trees yeah there was a body found. Also another guy I think after that guy committed suicide, another guy like tried to stay in that house and then got this his neck slashed by like cartel members that he was involved with. And I don't know why they did this to him. Yeah, a lot of stuff happens like right here, but I mean like other than that, like everyone is here consistently. Uh -oh, what is it? Can't find one. He needs some Oh, hey, little dog.
chance.